Hello everyone, in the previous video we had started a new model in eTabs and imported the DXF file In this video we will, I will put the link in the description In this video uh, we will define materials, concrete and rebars And we'll define the sections, shear walls, slabs, columns and beams In materials, we will uh, define two types of uh, concrete, F25, 25 megapascal, and F30. For rebars, we will define uh, one type, only FY420. It's common to use uh, other, uh, to use another uh, type for uh, ties, but in this project, we will use uh, same type, for same rebar types for ties and for the main uh, reinforcement we will start with concrete in e tabs go to define material properties you can start a new material or edit the concrete the existing material modify change the name fc25 concrete isotropic and uh, weight per unit volume as we see, we can put it 25, or if we want to put uh, put it as the ACI code, it's as I remember 24, or leave it. Modulus of elasticity, it's seven four seven zero zero times square root of the FC. This is from the ACI code U0.2 The th strength And the damping ratio 0 0.05 Add copy to insert the second uh, type of C30 times 30 to the power 0 0.5 and change the strength okay okay now we have the concrete materials modify the river Rebar material FY four two zero. You can leave the uh, weight per unit volume, or you have to test the rebars in your site or the common rebars in your uh, uh, country. You can leave uh, this. You can leave this too, you can leave these and the damping for the rebars as we see and that's it for the materials Define sections, we will start with the estimated uh, dimensions then we can change or increase the, dim the dimensions after uh, after checking and designing define section properties frame section you can edit or modify on uh, these sections or just add the new properties or rectangular rename select the right materials I will use uh, for every uh, vertical elements use uh, 30 uh, FC 30 materials and for slabs I will use FC 25 change the color make sure as I said before make sure to keep the depth larger than the width property modifiers as we see in the site 
for columns I to two I three three equals zero point seven. Zero point seven. Okay, and the reinforcement. We will check the reinforcement, not design it. Make sure to use uh, or to select select the design type for columns. Uh, for uh, rebar materials, select your rebar material. For bars, use about one percent of the section area. Let's calculate the one percent times I we'll start with the uh, sixteen. We have the area divide on one bar area. Okay, let's use eight bars. Two bars along this face and five bars along this face. I used uh, ten b uh, bars because I don't want any spacing more than uh, 15 centimeters. And I don't want to use less than uh, rebar 16, size 16 for the columns. We have one beam only. We will start with 25 by 60. Define section properties, frame section, and add new rectangular drop beam 25 by 60. Depth and width 25. Give it any color modifier. The torsional constant 0 0.2 and I22 I3C 0 0.35. Okay, reinforcement will be designed. Make sure to select beam, select the right rebar material, and Later on, we will check the cover. Okay. Let's find the slab. We will start with 22 solid slab, but later on, due to the spans, punching, one way shear, and deflection, we'll check, maybe we'll change the uh, thickness. And we will use other uh, slab types too, maybe waffle slab and one way hollow block slab. Okay, let's define the 22 centimeters slab. Define section properties, slab sections, and delete the unneeded slab. And modify 22. Use the right uh, concrete material. FC25 modeling type shell thin and give it any needed color maybe this slab 220 and property no, no modifiers okay let's go to the site for the slab 0.25 as shell thin modeled as a shell 0.25 okay okay and now let's define the shear walls in etabs define section properties walls wall sections and modify the existing one wall 25 as i said before all uh, vertical elements i will use uh, fc 30 for all vertical elements change the color 
and for the modifiers go to the site as we see for uncracked walls 0 0.7 and for cracked walls 0 0.35 later on I will upload a video explaining the difference and when to use uh, each uh, case but for now it's okay to use 0 0.35 uh, modeled as shell and we can we can use 0 0.1 for m11 m22 and m12 and or we can use the same value that we used for the f11 and f22 so i will use 0 0.35 and okay okay 